Coming at you from Boston, Massachusetts for Coffee and Music number 859. This is the first Coffee and Music of 2022, and I'm happy to be back here. Oh, man, I missed these. Uh, I needed the break after such a long December, but I am really excited to get back into it here. And it all starts here with Coffee and Music. I've had a lot of new subscribers over the past month. Thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed and the new subscribers coming through. I love you guys so much. If you're new to this, this is uh, something that I do on every platform, pretty much Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, here on YouTube on Mondays. Coffee and Music is just a really casual way to start the day. And I play some music, we talk some boots, drink some coffee, and then go out and kick ass and take names. You know how it is. Good to see you, Lucas. How's it going? Good morning, Jay. Yes, Bills won last night, and it's going to be a awesome playoff season. I love it. Can't wait for the Patriots next week. Hey, Carlos, how's it going? Eyes like the sky first, coffee and music of the year. Hey, Dad, good morning to you. Connor, howdy. How's it going, Kevin? No coffee music really made the days somber and boring. I got bored, too. I got bored in the morning, too. I was like, what, what do I do with myself now? What do I do with myself, Carlos? <laughs> Good morning, Alan. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, I'm happy to be back here. It's, uh, it's always fun playing these in the morning, and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed them, too. And I'm happy to be back doing these. And it's going to be a busy week. So I'm going to be taking coffee and music on the road here on Thursday and Friday. It's going to be so much fun, but we'll get into that in a second. We got to get into some music here. How's it going, Keaton? Good morning to you. Hope you guys have your coffee. Hope it's warm. Hope you guys got your boots. I'm going to ask you what kind of boots you guys got on in a second. But first, is there any better song to start out 2022 coffee music? Then uh, little old boots got soul. I don't think so. Good morning, George. How's it going? Good to see you here. Happy Monday. Let's go. Step out in the morning on an uneasy day. The world is split and unsure, so I'm sure to step in the strongest way. With every footfall, I remember who I am. Each and every memory help strengthen how I stand. We are great, but we shine. can keep us confined. Now, old boots got so old, so I patch them when they need it, and this life has its soul. So I bandage when I'm bleeding, old boots got so old. We carry on this way so we get better. in the evening after a hard working day I'm proud of what I've done even if it's only for a little pay I kick off my boots before we do it all again always remembering where I'm going and never forgetting where I've been we are great but we shine Every step for decades will be mine. Thank you, Carlos. Old boots got so cool, so I pants them when they need it, and this life has its soul. So I 
my bandage when I'm bleeding. Old boots got sold. We carry on this way so we get better. Every day I said old boots got sold. So I patched them when they needed and this life has a toll. So I bandage when I'm bleeding. Old boots got sold. And we carry on this way so we Get better every day. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> thank you so much, Carlos. <laughs> There are so many weird emojis in that uh, in that area in that tip area, isn't there? In that super chat, <laughs> no worries. It's like you're scrolling through and you're like, which one of these do I even want to pick? <laughs> I've been there. I know how it is. Good morning, hey mom. Good morning, George. You excited about the videos coming up out of the Dallas trip? Yes, yes. This week I am headed to Dallas. And uh, going to be going to the Western English Sales Association trade show there in the D Dallas Market Center where all of the brands pretty much are going to be and all of the brands that you'll find in stores anyways because it's a place where the boot brands go to show their boots and their products. Not only boot brands but like Western sort of fashion, saddles, tack, pretty much anything in Western and English riding. That it also includes uh, boots, jeans, belts, things like that. Uh, the producers and the, go there to show their products to retailers in hopes for uh, those retailers to, to purchase them and then put them in their physical stores or in their online stores too. So it's just a place where everything happens, where you'll see everything new, uh, lots of new jeans, shirt, like uh, fashion things, boots. So I'm going to go there and see what, what's happening and also try to talk and network with some of the boot brands that will be there in order to make it easier to showcase more brands on this channel. Uh, that's sort of what trade shows are, are for. In other industries, you know, you go there, network, make connections so that you can do more business in the future. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to doing this week in Dallas. And if you guys are around in Dallas, I'm gonna be putting together a meetup here and I'll share more information about it. But if you're in the Facebook boot group or on my Facebook page, you already know about it. Uh, I'm going to be at Rodeo Goat at the Dallas Market Center or nearby. Rodeo Goat is a bar and there's going to be a meetup this Friday and I believe it's at 7 is when I said it was, 7, 7 Central. So I hope to see you guys there. If you are around Dallas, it's going to be fun. I'll share the information here uh, in the links in the description after this live stream too so you can so you can see uh what what boots are you guys kicking off this week in i got the hondo 7875 today it's a snowy one uh it's just that time of year where uh, i need the rubber outsole and uh the hondo 7875 is my favorite rubber outsole boot that i have right now um it's traditionally made you guys know hondo second the these ones here were second on the uh on the list for 2021 just love hondo hey juan how's it going you wear a size 12 and a half what size should you get for a square toe so are you wearing a size 12 and a half uh boot like a round toe boot or you're wearing a size 12 and a half shoe sneaker what's the what are you and and then you got to know your width too uh so so those things kind of go into it you're wearing the blackjack elephant whoa jeff what a way to step out that's what i'm talking about you're breaking in those hondos brian won these hondos in the giveaway back in uh if i can get them here back in uh november i think it was the november giveaway Brian won a pair of Hondos. Uh, it was this model right here. He's breaking those in. Oh, it's a joy to break in those boots, isn't it? Connor's got those blackjack elephants coming in March. How 
low can I sing? Oh, should I do, should I do busy my spade? Connor, I'll show you how low I can sing. <laughs> I'll do busy my spade in a second. Oh, Carlos is stepping out in those BNV JC collab boots. Oh, you taking him to work? That's what I'm talking about. Yes, love it. Wearing Tony Lama today. Alan's got those old brown Jay Chisholm boots. Lucas has got the Lucasey Marshall. Nice. You're talking about in a sneaker, Juan. Uh, that's going to be tough. So I put together a, a um, on average, average, the average person, like, on, like averaging all of the human race, you might be able to just do 12 and a half D or a 12 D square toe. Right, because I do say that you might want to size down a half a size, depending on the brand, uh, for a square toe boot, because there's a lot more space in that. Like, for example, I'm a 12B in the these Hondos. He has the round toe, but in this in the same brand, Hondo with the square toe, right? These 3416s, I'm an 11 and a half B. So I size down a half a size. So on average. You might have to do like a 12D if you, if you like you're the average person, but many people aren't because it's an average, right? So uh, I did a video about like know these things. If you look that up, Juan, and I hope it helps. And then you can message me or email me. Uh, you know, you, anybody, everybody can always email me at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com and do do that watch that video and do some of the things that i recommend and send to the links on my website so know these things when buying boots online or something like that uh when buying cowboy boots online search that video Juan. do some of the things that i i uh recommend in that video and then if you have more questions email me and uh we'll get it figured out spade is always a good choice you got it brian we'll do it <laughs> Tommy, you're an 11 D in R toe boots. What size should you get in a J toe? You don't want them to be too tight. I would say, I would say try the same size. Um, they, they, they should be making that turn in a similar spot. You just have more of a turn there uh, to, to the point. So it, it should, it sh is, if you have the same brand, try the same size. Should you get a double E, Tommy? Uh, no, this is a common thing that uh, a lot of people think that the du the D to the double E is wider and it will mean that you have more room in there, but it's significantly wider. So the, the double E is going to be uh, is going to be too loose. If you go an 11 D is not going to be the the close width that you think it is from an 11 double E. So 11 double E is actually going to fit somewhere similar to like a, a 12 D to a 12 and a half D. That's how proportional the width is. So it, I, I always recommend folks, instead of trying to go wider, to go up a half a size so you get just a little bit more width. Um, instead of trying to jump a width size, jump a half size shoe size up. Uh, try that first before going to a double E. <clears throat> yeah. Sh toes should never be in the toe box. Thank you, Lucas. Lucas is a pro, guys. Listen to Lucas. Happy New Year, Graham. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, you're getting some new boots. Support the local boot stores for 2022. Yes. Hey, Neil. Good afternoon to you. Yes, it was a great way for the Bills to finish off the season. I'm glad to be back too, DJ. Thank you so much. Online is risky bis business. Just got two pair that don't fit, hoping to resell them. Yeah, it is tough. It is tough uh, to, to do that. Sometimes it's your only option, and uh, hopefully more companies offer the free returns and things like that. Graham, I know you're overseas, so it's even harder to get those free returns and exchanges. Uh, it's tough. It really is. That's why it's always best to visit uh, a local boot store, like Jay is saying, to support the local boot stores. Head on over there, try some boots, and uh, and and that way you know what size is going to work best. 
The boot should always be measured to the ball of the foot, not the toe box. Yeah, you want to make sure your toes are not cramped at all in that toe box. <clears throat> That's not fun. That's not fun. You guys are the best. All right. Let's see how low I can sing. <laughs> A little busy my spade this morning here. Kicking off this week right. Good to be back here doing these live streams and coffee and music. I really enjoy starting out uh, starting out the days like this. Remember, if this is your first time catching one of these live streams, this is sort of a casual thing that I do every morning on different uh, social media platforms. Monday is YouTube, and they always start between 8.30 and 9 a.m. Eastern time, uh, most of the time. I mean, this Thursday and Friday, it'll pretty much just, it'll be, I don't know if I'll be able to figure out the time difference. I would have to start it at 7.30. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, Monday, today, is always YouTube. Then Tuesday's Facebook. Wednesday's Instagram. I'm back on, uh, back on Facebook on Thursday, and then TikTok on Friday. I might uh, try to... Do a little bit more on Zoom at some point this year. So we'll see how that goes. Might work Zoom into the coffee and musics and then actually be able to bring you guys in to ask these questions. Oh yes, you like this? Brenna got this for me for uh, for Christmas. L.L. Bean Archive shirt. Oh, love it. Love this. <clears throat> Good luck, Tommy. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember, you guys can always email me at jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. Uh, some of the comments on these uh, different platforms are sort of growing to the point where I can't answer them all, unfortunately. I really love your guys' comments, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. But email is going to be the best way to get a hold of me going into the future. Love you guys so much. Here's Busy My Spade. Go on home, you done all you can. You tied the twine to your sister's hand. Laid out the bill. After she got alone And I was summoned here To be the guide I had to sing her off To the other side But if anything should happen You'd be the first to know If she laying in the shade Of a reaper's gown I busy my speed When I hear the bell sound No matter how long When I was a boy making room for the new pushing back the soil When I found gouges made from within Maybe a lover, mother or brother It wasn't long till I found another Put down low when they never should have been So now at night I sing among the dead And busy my spade when I have a company man I dig and sing Peace. 
busy my speed I busy my speed No one goes to well now When I busy my speed Yes, alright Yes, she laying in the shade of a reaper's gown And I busy my speed I the bells sound no matter how low, how low, how low, how low. I busy my speed, I busy my speed. When I hear that bell now, yes, I busy my speed, I busy my speed. Busy my speed, how low? Yes. <laughs> what a way to start out. Coffee and music's here. Thank you for the request for some low notes. Some low notes. Yo, Juan, you got a couple of boots, size 13. They seem to overstretch. Might just be because you're buying the wrong size because you wear a 12 and a half inch sneakers. Yeah. They, a lot of boots will overstretch, <clears throat> especially the uh, cheaper boots because they, you know, machine last them. They don't stretch them to their fullest capacity, so they will overstretch a little bit. That's why sometimes if you put on a boot uh, and it's it feels nice to begin with, n maybe not quite snug enough, though, you always want to go for that snug fit because it will break in sometimes more than others. Some boots will break in a lot more than others, so... Uh, just keep that in mind. You want to be snug. Remember, you want it to fit. <clears throat> you want it to fit the snug, the snuggest at the widest part of the foot, right in here. You don't want it to be snug or tight up at the toes. The widest part of the foot here. You know, snug at the instep here, and you always got to have that heel slip uh, between a finger's width and two fingers width. Uh, and then you got the right fit. You just let that. You just let that boot break in. <sighs> Build that character. You won't want to wear anything else. You know what I'm saying, Juan? You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Brian. You're the best. Thank you, Connor. You're thoroughly satisfied. <laughs> Not too many low bass songs. Let's go. Let's bring them back. <laughs> Let's bring them back. <laughs> Thank you, Lucas. Twelve and a half is hard to find. Uh, if you still have those 13s, let Jay know. Let Jay know. Let's get it. Yes, that's what this community is all about. <laughs> Being there in case you get the wrong size so you can uh, sell it to somebody else, trade it to somebody else. Uh, sells and trades, you know. And uh, don't forget about the Facebook boot group where uh, that happens so frequently as well. Uh, you guys are the best. What do we got going on, on the channel this week? We're back at it with videos. Uh, so not only, only am I headed to Dallas, uh, the channel is back up and going. I mean, here, this is proof. Uh, we're back at it. Tomorrow, got a, a video about a pair of uh, eel boots. Uh, Cowtown eel boots that uh, me and Levi looked at over at uh, Circle B Western Wear in Brockport, New York. Uh, Sean there, who runs <clears throat> Circle B Western Wear, says that Josh Allen was there one day. Uh, he wasn't there when when any of the times that I went, unfortunately. But uh, Circle B Western Wear, Josh Allen was there getting some boots. You know, Josh Allen from uh, from California, then in Wyoming uh, for college. So he needs his boots. He wears his boots. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> So that's going up on the channel. It's already in the vault. And then uh, on in the vault, I got a pair of uh, Wrangler 47 MWZ jeans. They're flannel lined. They're flannel lined. So I'll, I'll be uh, recording that today, editing it, editing it, and putting it up on the channel. And then on Thursday, I'll have uh, one of the repurposed live segments that I did talking about the differences between modern 
and uh, traditionally made boots, uh, which will help some of you guys too. Uh, Juan, that might help uh, you decide which boots to go with. Uh, so, <clears throat> so we'll uh, we'll see. We'll have some fun with it. We'll have some fun. <clears throat> Oh, you're going with the Randall? Yes! Luke is going with the Randall today. What a way to kick off the week. That Randall is so beautiful. Randall is so beautiful. Sing low songs. Can I sing any Josh Turner songs? I don't do covers on this channel, but uh, I did just create a Jeremiah Craig covers channel uh, during the break here, uh, during this past week, where I will be doing covers. Uh, so if anybody has re uh, requests, email me. I'll put Josh Turner on the list, and I'll uh, see. You can see just if it's uh, if it's good enough for that low register. Artikova's boots true to size? I'd say they're pretty true. Um, pretty true. Some of them run a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, the the square toes again. Like I say, you might have to to size down a half a size. And uh, I found that the, uh, the, what was it? What the, what was the name of it? The Bandera was, uh, was a similar, was like similar to the 11. So maybe a half size, a half size small. I had to do a, 11, a 10 and a half. I found the 10 and a half D worked well for me in the Bandera. And the Earl was 11 D for me. So, um. I would say it's pretty true, but it depends on the style of boot that you that you get. You're in the mud releasing salmon today. Nice. Oh man, that sounds that sounds like a fun day. Sounds like a messy one, but sounds like a fun one. Didn't Wrangler used to make cowboy boots? Yeah, they did, and they actually just started a new collaboration with Twisted X, so you can get Wrangler boots again. Uh, that that are made by Twisted X. And I, I, I kind of hope that they're going to be at, uh, that they're going to be at uh, WESA this week, the Western and English Sales Association in Dallas that I'll be going to. I kind of hope Wrangle will be there and uh, that they'll definitely be there. I saw that they're going to be there. Uh, but I hope that they bring those boots, either them or Twisted X, because they're both going to be there. And I hope they bring the Wrangler boots because I want to I wanna look at them Closer. They, they just look like a Twisted X boot, to be honest, but I kind of want to look at them a little bit more to see what's up <clears throat> with them. Seminole Wind by John Anderson would be fun sometimes. Okay, Chase and Checkers. I'll put it on the list. Oh, 90s. 90s-ish countries is badass. <clears throat> Jason Aldean, Old Boots, New Dirt. All right, you got it, Jay. I'll put it on the list. <sighs> Good morning, Ricky Bobby. Hey there, Bentley Rogers. Good to see you. 90s country music is good. It's good. <laughs> I wish country would kind of go back to that era here, right? The, the, the country that we're getting in 2022, at least the pop country, is, uh, is, is okay for what it is. But, uh, man... I feel like uh, Coulter Wall is doing some great stuff, and I saw that he's going. He's not going to be on tour anymore, so he's going to go, just go back up to Canada to do some ranching and uh, writing. So hopefully we get a new album from him soon because uh, he had to stop touring because of COVID. Uh, so that's a shame, but hopefully we get some more music from him soon. <laughs> you like the uh, inflatable sofa? I think you got you got to tune in on Thursday then because I'm I'm not going to be traveling with my guitar because uh, it's going to cost a little bit extra to check it to all the way to Dallas but I'll be bringing something else and I'll be playing a, a different instrument with the inflatable th uh, inflatable sofa on Thursday so Thursday on uh, Coffee Music on Facebook <laughs> I'll see you there and I'll be playing some inflatable sofa Carl good morning to you good morning you like Eric Church a lot yeah. He's got a great voice, right? Great voice. <laughs> oh, you were born New Year's Day 2000? It was just your birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. Jeez. Jeez, happy birthday. Just your birthday last week. What a, what, man, the world parties on your birthday. That's really cool. 
<laughs> All right. Have been struggling. Yeah, you got to protect the stuff, Jeff. Totally. 100%. I gotta get at it, guys. This has been a long coffee and music to kick off the week. We're we're over 30 minutes now. Uh, love it. You guys are incredible. Gotta save some for tomorrow. I uh, hope you have a spectacular day tomorrow. I'm gonna be on Facebook same time uh, between 8:30 a.m. and 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. You guys are spectacular. Remember, this is how we finish it off every single coffee and music. Let's kick ass and take names out there. You know how it is. I will see you guys around. Love you. Have a spectacular day. <laughs> Let's get it. Peace, everybody. Have a good one. Mm. Gonna need a refill. Let's go.